What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and welcome to another episode of our top-down shooter uh, tutorial series in Game Maker Studio 2. Uh, today we're going to make a camera shake effect, um, a small one and a large one for when things explode. So when you get hit by a weapon, when an enemy gets hit, when you die, whatever the case, we can make the screen shake um, using our camera views. So this one's going to be a little bit tricky because my um, original... Uh, series where I wrote the code was in GML code and since we're doing drag and drop for now um, I'm gonna have to kind of reference my code and figure out how to put it it'll be fine <laughs> uh, but if I get caught up it's for a second it's most likely because I'm just trying to find which drag and drop box goes with the code that I was writing um, but I think we'll be okay so let's get into it let's go ahead and right click on our objects and we're gonna create an object and we're going to call this obj underscore small shake. Cool. Um, in the create event, we need to establish a few variables. So the first variable we need to establish is uh, shake equals true. So we're going to assign a variable and call it shake. And we're going to call the, we're just going to say true. So now shake is set to true, so as soon as it's loaded. Um, we also need to set the camera. Um, we need to get the uh, X and Y coordinates of our camera. So camera, so we're gonna do get. And we're, we want the X coordinate first. And we're, we want our view zero, because if we go to viewports, viewport zero is our camera. Uh, actually, we need to enable viewports, I believe. So let's enable viewports. Make this viewport zero visible so that we have a camera on screen. And make it the same size as our game, 1920 by 1080. Okay, so we've enabled viewports. Um, and that's the thing we're going to be referencing here. So viewport coordinate. Our view is zero because that's viewport zero. And the variable we want that to to save it to is view underscore x all right we want to do the same thing for y so we're going to go to get view variable and we're going to choose y coordinate view zero and we're going to call this view underscore y so now we have shake equals true view x and view y we also need to set up shake power so let's go ahead and uh, make another variable and we'll call this shake power and we're going to set this to five and that's how many pixels we want it to move and for the large explosion this is the only thing we're going to change um and by by basically adding maybe five or ten more pixels to this to make it jump uh quite a bit more um, and then we need to start an alarm so we just go to alarm set alarm countdown and it's alarm zero and we're going to set it for 10 frames so it's going to shake the screen for about 10 frames and then jump to the alarm which is going to turn everything off so let's go into our um, alarm why not and start turning things off so the first thing we need to do is set shake back to false so that the screen stops shaking Oops, not shake underscore false. Sorry, I don't know why I wrote that. So we're going to write shake and then false right here. And then we also need to set the view position. So if we type in camera, set view. We need to set our uh, view camera back to zero and zero. So we're going to set our X coordinate to zero and then we're going to set our y coordinate to zero so that's going to set everything back to the way it's supposed to be and then we want to destroy self so we want to destroy this instance of the shaking um, object and it'll just go away so now we need to make it actually shake we have a variable that tells it to start shaking we have shake power we know where our camera is um, and we've set up a countdown to make it stop, but we haven't actually made it do anything yet. So we're going to add a step event. And in our step event, we're going to 
create an if variable and we're going to say if shake is true so if shake is equal to true if it's on for those first 10 frames then we need to set random x so we'll pull this over here so that it's inside of the variable and we'll say um, random x and we're going to change random x to a random range between uh, negative shake power which is negative 5 and positive shake power and then parentheses so let me expand this out a little bit so you can see it so it's a random range between negative 5 and positive 5. The reason we're writing shake power is so that if we wanted to change the um, power of the effect, we can just go up here and change shake power to whatever number we want. So now we have random x to uh, random range between negative 5 and positive 5. And then we also want to do the same thing for y. So we're going to say ram y. is equal to random range between negative shake power and shake power. Cool. Now we need to actually use these numbers, whether it be a negative one or a three or a four, whatever it happens to be, we need to actually assign that to our camera. So we're gonna go into our camera and we're gonna use set view and we're gonna set the X coordinate and the Y coordinate of camera viewport zero. And for the X coordinate, we're going to use ran X. And for the Y coordinate, we're going to use ran Y. So then it'll change our cam our viewport to a random position plus or minus five. And then um, we just need to update uh, our views. Um, coordinates to whatever they are now so we can use let's see we can use camera get view so target to view X viewport X and view Y to viewport Y. So what this should do is it should update the view location to a new location and then um, after it's done that uh, add another number to it and another number to it until 10 frames has gone by and then it stops and then deletes itself. So let's make this show up somewhere and see if it works because we don't know yet. Let's go to object player and let's say I collide with enemies. This will be a good place to spawn that. So let's create an instance of object small shake. And we can leave it at zero. Doesn't matter where it is because it's just affecting our viewport. Uh, let's go ahead and hit play and cross our fingers. All right, so if I get hit by one of these, yep. We have screen shake. Very cool. I like it. So now, um, if we wanted to, we can right click on this and duplicate it and call this large shake. And in the create event, change this to something like 15. And then instead of spawning small shake let's spawn large shake let's say like when you get hit by a bullet it's a small shake but when you get hit by an enemy it's a large shake and we hit play and now if we run into someone it's a pretty big shake and this adds a really cool effect to the game so yeah, it looks like we're almost up on 10 minutes and we got a pretty cool shake effect using drag and drop. Um, and I kind of converted it from GML code to drag and drop on the fly. So I'm stoked that it worked out. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any suggestions or ideas for the next feature to add to our game, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.
Hey, 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 hey,